I'm going to do the dividing um, seam uh, for this mold. Now because it's quite a big piece, I decided to, um, to cut some 16 mil um, uh, board. Um, this is just um, chipboard with a melamine coating. Um, so these will then, um, let me just get the other one. Um, I will then place these against the seam like that, um, seal it with plasticine and then I've got a, a nice quick um, way to do this. Um, otherwise I've got to build this up with, with plasticine and I'm not sure that that is um, actually going to hold up. If this mold was lying flat um, it would have been a different story but unfortunately with this piece it's just not possible. I just want to cut some keys um, into this flange here and unfortunately the only thing I had was a bit of copper tubing um, but you can see uh, I sharpened the edge and now I'm just going to twist this into the, the rubber and that will cut out a little plug um, so when I do the fiberglass um, backing mold this will create a little pin and then the skin can actually clip over that to hold it in place. Now again I'm using um, my uh, homemade plasticine for this. So I'm just giving it a bit of a knead uh, just to, to warm it up. And then I just carefully push this into the, the corner in order to get a good um, anchor um, for this board. Now, once I'm done with this, I'll go to the other side and then um, fill up um, the, um, the little cavity and get that all nice and smooth. Um, so that I get a good partition line uh, once I uh, put the fiberglass on. Now I've just got to fill up um, this cavity here. Um, so I'm just going to roll a, a thin coil of plasticine. And fill that cavity properly. And then I'm just going to use this wooden sculpture tool run that along the seam just to make sure everything's up against the edge. Again, I'm using a little bit of kerosene as a lubricant. And then we just cut that off. Make sure that the seam line is absolutely perfect. So you can see that we've now got a perfect 90 degree corner um, all the way along, and that just makes for a nice, um, neat backing mold. And now just as an 
as an extra precaution that the backing mold registers properly I'm going to put a little coil of plasticine onto the melamine board just anchor that nicely and then obviously once I make the the fiberglass backing mold it will create a, a little groove um, that will act as a key Just smooth that out. And I will run this the length of the um, the, the seam line. This is all complete now and as you can see I had to get a little bit more creative to keep this one side in position. I just built some triangle braces to keep it in position. But this is now ready for the next step which is building the fiberglass backing mold. Mm -hmm.